The land speed record, or absolute land speed record, is the highest speed achieved by a person using a vehicle on land. The first holder of the record was the Frenchman Gaston de Chasselou Laubat. In 1898, Chasselou Laubat hit a speed of 39.24 miles per hour in the electric-powered Ginto Duck. Just one month later the record was taken by the Belgian Camille Genetzi. This was done in the GCA dogcart at a speed of 41 miles per hour. The record would pass back and forth between the two race car drivers throughout 1899. With Genetzi getting the better of the duel, this came with the introduction of the first purpose-built speed car, breaking the 100 km per hour milestone in the process. This 65 miles per hour record would stand for almost three years. When a steam-powered car driven by another Frenchman, Léon Serpollet took on the challenge. The previous record was beaten by 10 miles per hour. However this record wouldn't stand for nearly as long. American, William K. Vanderbilt, in the first internal combustion engine powered car, beat it by just one mile per hour only four months later. The period between 1902 and 1906 saw the record change many times. Successful attempts were made by Henri Fournier, Maurice Augiers and Arthur de Ray. This was until Henry Ford in his Ford 999 racer took the record in 1904. This was the first time the speed record had been set outside of France or Belgium, but certainly not the last. Louis Rigoli, then Pierre de Caters took back the record for France and then Belgium. The important milestone of 100 miles per hour was crossed by Louis Rigoli on his second successful record attempt with a speed of 103.56 miles per hour. Two more Frenchmen, Paul Barras and Victor Emery, would claim the record before American Fred Marriott in his steam-powered Stanley rocket. Fred Marriott set a speed of 127.66 miles per hour at Daytona Beach. This record would stand for over three years before Emery reclaimed the title at Brooklands, England towards the end of 1909. The early records were set under different standards with world records not always being recognized by everyone. As the Association Internationale des Automobile Clubs Reconis began to be recognized as the authority on the records, their standard began to become used. Their regulations required two passes to be made in opposite directions. This meant that they could rule out any wind assistance. These runs initially had to be completed within 30 minutes, although later being changed to one hour. The first time the record was set under these new rules, was also the first time a Brit had claimed the title. Litston Hornstead achieved 124 miles per hour in his Benz No. 3 in 1914 at Brooklands. Following the First World War, Kenelm Lee Guinness took the record in a Sunbeam 350 HP. This was the first many successful attempts in the 1920s. Most notable of these were Malcolm Campbell's four claims within the decade. He initially drove the Sunbeam 350 HP, followed by the aero engine-powered Blue Bird. The 1930s saw the record change hands frequently. Not to mention the change in location attempts from Daytona Beach to the Bonneville Salt Flats. The 30s was a time when the British enjoyed total dominance of the record. Claimed five times in total by Campbell, George Aston, three times in Thunderbolt, and by John Cobb, twice in Railton. The 30s had seen the record climb to 369.74 miles per hour. Cobb returned in 1947 to increase this to 394 miles per hour. There were two further wheel-driven successes in the 1960s by Americans Mickey Thompson and Bob Summers with speeds just above 400 miles per hour. The introduction of jet engines initially led to some confusion over the rules and what was allowed. Malcolm Campbell's son Donald set the record in the wheel-driven Bluebird CN7 in that period. Eventually, the association in charge, which had since changed its name to the FIA, decided to change the rules to allow any vehicle running on wheels to be eligible for the record. The first jet-powered car to claim the record was Spirit of America driven by American Craig Breedlove. He would go on to set the record a further four times in the 1960s with his final success in 1965 reaching 594 miles per hour. Record times were set by two other Americans in the 60s, Tom Green in Wingfoot Express and Art Arfins in Green Monster. 
The final American to set the record was Gary Gabelik in the rocket-powered Blue Flame with a speed of 630 miles per hour. That stood for 13 years before Britain's Richard Noble in Thrust 2 went 4 miles per hour faster in 1983. The current record was set in 1997 by Andy Green driving Trust SSC. The twin Rolls Royce Spey powered car went supersonic, reaching an average of 760.343 miles per hour over the two passes. Attempts are still being made to surpass the 1997 record involving both Richard Noble and Andy Green with the Bloodhound LSR project. The project plans to hit the 1,000 miles per hour mark, which would break the record by the largest ever margin if achieved. Please subscribe us if you have liked the video.